Hi everybody, I am Had Mohammed, uh, a second year at the engineering school Central Supelec, and I'm right now to tell you about a course I'm taking which is AI and healthcare. Uh, to start with, why I've chosen this course, because I, am, I really love everything about AI and I want to feel like the impact of this technology in, in the real world, which is healthcare. For me, healthcare is one of the most important fields ever. So to start, uh, we had an introduction where we have seen a lot of challenges that can be resolved with artificial intelligence and that I will be developing further in this presentation. Uh, also, because we are not only engineers, uh, we have seen, we have discussed also the ethical part of the thing. We have asked questions as uh, the confidentiality of the users we are taking data from. And also we ask this question, I think all of you must have in your head right now, will AI replace uh, doctors? Um, I don't have an answer right now, but we discussed the problem with this as we discussed the question and we like we have seen a lot of perspectives related to this but i think mm, i'm just giving you a hint i think that that, that cannot be the case okay uh, also we have seen some ethical parts as i said um, confidentiality and because like some people can be blackmailed because of a disease they have and they don't want to share with people so if this information got leaked they can be blackmailed and this is dangerous for them after this, we had a resume course of artificial intelligence. Uh, we have seen some, some things like NLP, computer vision. Well, for me, I've, uh, I'm seeing this in a parallel course I'm taking here at Central, which is machine learning. So no problem, we are just, we are just seeing some classical uh, algorithms. And then uh, we first started with the NLP and the healthcare. NLP, which is natural language processing, which is AI, understanding a text mainly. Um, and also voice recognition, we saw both of them. And uh, one of the most beautiful things I've seen is that how with NLP, we can connect all the research papers in the world into a graph. And within this graph, we can have like uh, very good information. Like for example, a drug A can be leading to a gene E, a gene A can be leading to a gene B, and gene B we found like recently that uh, it helps replicate in the COVID-19. So within this link, we found that people who have COVID uh, shouldn't be uh, taking the drug A. So with the, this uh, link that we created with NLP, we, we, we are having like powerful information. Also, NLP can be used to analyze the psychology of people within the mails they are sending and the messages to their friends and a lot of uses like a robot in hospital uh, helping patients doing voice recognition and then understanding what the patient said and then collaborating with them robots collabor collaborating with doctors with NLP you can do a lot of lot of interesting stuff uh, we have seen uh, computer vision computer vision and one of the most imp uh, interesting applications is how to detect cancer from uh, from an image and uh, also from the, the we can take images from the brain and do some analysis to to take uh, really interesting um, uh, informations that i think a doctor wouldn't be like um, as efficient as ai uh, especially if the ai is like very well trained in these domains because these are pictures where it is hard to analyze but with ai we are uh, getting more information and um, like i can add to this that AI right now uh, is doing what I, I call personally an augmented doctor. An augmented doctor is a doctor that uses AI and we are not having AI replacing doctor but it's a doctor augmented with AI. So he has more power. He has this. Um, also, we have seen a presentation of a startup created by a Central Cipelec uh, student, uh, which is OVIA and that they are managing hospitals uh, doing the schedule of hospitals and how they are managing the, uh, the persons that are working in the hospital. Um, this is great because it is a Central Cipelec startup and it is as students giving us hope that we can, we can also be as innovative as them and create our own startups. Um, which is, uh, what is good in this course is that it is an international course. It, uh, the, that means that we are collaborating with, uh, with the UGLO, uh, aso um, UGLO Association and we are having partners in a lot of countries in Europe and we are working with international students like even in our group here at Central we have international students 
and moreover, we are having international students that we are collaborating with them with using uh, tools like Teams and uh, stuff like this. Uh, last but not least, we have a project uh, which is a mind map and uh, in this mind map we have to choose a topic like for us it was mental disease and we have to do the state of art of what AI can do to resolve this problem. Like it is the starting, sorry, of a research uh, project and uh, this type of courses they uh, they create this, in, they, uh, they help students to um, uh, to develop their, their research skills.